so far so good it's all right that's a snap-on with the question mark morning guys YouTube people world whoever wherever long time I've been making videos haven't been making videos cuz uh, I've been busy um, with work and uh, I guess you could say projects uh, I sold my second gen my 99 Ram 2500 um, with the wheels that I put on this truck on the fourth gen um, yeah, I've been doing, just been doing a lot of crap lately, uh, around the house, uh, not videoing it. Um, yeah, so the second gen's gone. I got rid of, finally got rid of all the brick. <clears throat> um, and then I did make this into a trailer, like I said, uh, the old bed off the second gen. <clears throat> so, um, just welded it, welded some, <coughs> excuse me, some supports, bolted it to the bed, bolted, you know, the frame to the bed, so I'm gonna get some, uh, adapters, five by four and a half to, uh, eight point six five I don't remember anyways so I just welded that um yeah so the kid graduated high school and uh been trying to find him a job tried to get him a job on with the railroad but uh apparently they changed it to you have to be 21 now all of a sudden um but for the most part uh, just been moving stuff. I guess a cat caught a rabbit. Stupid cat. I'm gonna kill a cat. Um, yeah, anyways. So as you can see, my old toolbox is right here. And then, uh, yeah. So I sold the truck. Uh, sold it for 10 grand to some lady. Um, anyways, uh, so I put my kid into, uh, truck driving school to get his class A license. So that's like two grand, uh, by the time it, DOT, or, uh, your DOT physical, all your, uh, the test, the DMV paperwork, testing, all the other stuff. So that's like two grand. Um, I bought new tires for my car because... I'm going to be working back up in Tatch, be up in the mountain. So, uh, some Pirelli, um, 235, 45, 17s. They're a 70, 70,000 mile rated tire, 70,000 mile warranty on it. Um, cause the tires I had on there, they were wearing out too fast according to discount tire um because those had a 55,000 mile warranty on them and i only had i want to say 22,000 miles on them and they were over 75 percent tread loss um so they ended up giving me credit uh almost 75 dollars a tire of credit so it was 400 and something dollars out the door with the roadside warranty blah 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 so if there's any damage um but now my wife's car needs some tires because i'll show you her back tires some mexican racing slicks here those tires are bald or gone but i don't know i still can't figure out the vibration of her car when it's when it's running when it's in reverse perfectly fine park and drive park neutral and drive it's just a vibration like crazy it's i think it's something to do with the motor mounts but anyways uh yeah so i bought this toolbox from harbor freight 
also um, <clears throat> they had it open boxed for eight seventy nine. Regular price is a thousand ninety nine. So they had it open boxed uh, eight seventy nine, and they had it on there. They've had it there forever for like three or four months, and. Uh, I finally went in. Well, I talked to the manager a couple times. They kept telling me, wait for the sale. There's going to be the parking lot sale and liquidation sale. And then after those sales, they said it would go down, you know, 5 or 10%. And uh, so every time I went in there uh, after the sales, it was still the same price. Uh, so I uh, finally talked to the same manager more than twice. And they're like, okay, we'll, we'll knock 5% off. <clears throat> which brought it to 834 or something like that. So it was 900 and $912, whatever, out the door. So, and, uh, yeah, so as you can see, I'll show you what I got in all the drawers. It's kind of my junk drawer where I just keep random stuff. This is like Allen wrenches, uh, nut drivers, and then a bunch of... Uh, Allen wrenches, random Allen wrenches, and uh, <clears throat> bits, I guess. So, this is kind of like a junk screwdriver drawer, I guess you could call it, and, and putty knives. It's a screwdriver drawer and file drawer, picks, screwdrivers, Phillips screwdrivers. Um, hammers and chisels and punches. So I'm still still testing it out, see what uh, how I want it set up actually. So you know, air tools and then air fittings. Um, these are just uh, I think these are three quarter inch drive. Uh, breaker bar ratchet. They're from a big set that I had. Um, rivet guns, rivet nut gun, or rivet things. This is like all my. I have a scanner, uh, electrical wiring, uh, butt connectors and stuff, timing light, and just some uh, trash bags. And then this drawer here. All my sockets. Have all uh, metric over here, so it's you know this all three quarter inch drive, half inch drive, uh, three eighths, three eighths, quarter inch, and those are like uh, Allen's Allen sockets, uh, ratchets quarter inch torque wrench it's uh, my half inch torque wrench my three eighths torque wrench ratchets all my adapters and stuff swivels and then this is all standard so this all these big sockets here are from this set because I needed a I needed a one in five sixteenth socket to do I can't remember something on the second gen or maybe it wasn't maybe it was an inch and three quarter anyways these are the only two that are used <coughs> um, but yeah these are my standard standard so half inch drive you know three quarter inch drive half inch drive uh, three eighths drive quarter inch and these are all like Torx, those are Torx sockets, Allen sockets, and then just extra like six point sockets for a 3 h drive. And then, you know, uh, <clears throat> axle, axle sockets and stuff like that. So and then you get into wrenches. So I don't have much wrenches, but I have enough. So this is all metric. These are all my metric wrenches. And then 
my standard wrenches. So, so those and my pliers and I guess vice grip drawer. So I still probably need to get some uh, pliers and stuff. I don't like that mat slides, but whatever. Maybe I'll glue the mats down or something. This is my power tools, drills, uh, my 3 8 impact, sawzall. <clears throat> I just got this yesterday. Um, and this yesterday. As you can see, the boxes are right there. Anyways. Uh, yeah, for the most part, uh, uh, pry bars and stuff like that. And then this bottom drawer, I have, uh, my big drill bits, big tap set, tap and die set, um, ball joint press, that's the big master set. Uh, this is a, a seal driver kit. That's the air conditioning stuff. This is my little vacuum pump. This is my funnel. Um, that's a little smaller. Tap and die set. I'm gonna come over here. Kind of like a electrical zip ties, multimeters, soldering stuff. <clears throat> electrical tape. This one is uh, whatever that is. <laughs> O2 sensors. This is nut and bolt set. Metric. Um, some calipers. Uh, tubing flare. And then I have a pulley puller right here. And then some uh, adjustable push rods. And then this is a vacuum tester. Uh, fuel pressure tester. And this is a diesel. This is for gas, high pressure. This is for the diesel one that I got when I ordered my bank set up. And then in here, I just got uh, you know, brake cleaner, rags, silicone spray, and then there's the you know, buffing stuff and more uh, drill bits, like loose, loose drill bits and stuff. But so far, so far so good. It's all right. That's a snap-on with a question mark. <coughs> but uh, yeah, so I'll uh, I'll do a review on that uh, coming up later. Um, also, I'll probably do a review on this because uh, the wife wanted one of these oscillating tools, uh, and then. Uh, Home Depot did a sale, 4th of July sale, where you buy this battery and charger, uh, 3 amp hour char uh, battery, and this charger for $119, and you get this free, or you get the 6 and a half inch circular saw free, or a sawzall free. <clears throat> um, I have a sawzall, and I have my circular saw. Uh, this is a seven and a quarter inch circular saw, so I didn't need their six and a half inch. <clears throat> um, so I went with the grinder because it'd be nice to have a little grinder so I can just go cut stuff real quick or whatever, cut a piece of metal. Um, but yeah, it was 119 bucks for both of these, so it's 119 dollars just for this and 119 dollars just for that. And then the little oscillating tool, 79 bucks. <clears throat> but anyways, guys, so that's just an update of what I'm doing, what I've been doing. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of uh, working and stuff uh, on the railroad. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, sorry for not making a video for a while. I needed to take a, take a break from editing and doing all of this stuff. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. Later.